Good afternoon, everyone. 12 13 PM. We have been seeing some isolated showers this morning. One brief downpour over Channel 5 earlier this morning. And yes, more showers are possible for this afternoon. So have the umbrellas handy just in case. Take a look out east. We're seeing some showers trying to get close to the island. They're offshore right now, moving to the northwest and over to the west. We've been seeing some showers moving right through the McAllen area, southwestern Hidalgo County. Now some showers west of Raymondville also moving to the northwest. Some of the roads are slick out there, so please do be careful when driving. Temperatures right now are mostly in the 90s, though we have upper 80s in Port Isabel, 91 in Harlingen in Raymondville. It's 94 in Edinburgh, 92 in Rio Grande City, and 93 in Brownsville. So here's your day planner forecast. We're going to keep a chance for a spotty shower or thunderstorm for this afternoon at 3 p.m. and at 6 p.m. The high temperature should still reach the mid-90s today under partly sunny skies. We're back to 93 at 6 p.m. and then 86 degrees at 9 p.m. If you're thinking Thinking about the island for this weekend, we do have some decent rain and thunderstorm chances. We're going to call for a 40% chance of thunderstorms on the island on Saturday, followed by a 50% chance of storms on Sunday. It is going to be breezy both days, so if you must go, please do take the rain gear with you. It's also going to be breezy, and keep in mind the rip current risk is moderate both days. So in the tropics, we're watching that area of disturbed weather that's over to the Yucatan Peninsula. This just has a 10% chance of development over the next five days, but it is expected to continue to move to the northwest and give us a pretty good shot at some rain, especially for the second half of the weekend into the start of next week. Now out west, we still have tropical storm Bud very close to Cabo San Lucas, which has a maximum winds of 45 miles per hour, moving to the north northwest at seven miles an hour. There's the forecast track, so the cone does include Cabo San Lucas. It will become a tropical depression, but still bring a lot of heavy rain to northwest of Mexico, as well as the desert southwest of the U.S. by this weekend. Back home in Texas, just very humid right now. The winds continue from the south and southeast. We're seeing some of those scattered to isolated showers, and that will continue for this afternoon. Now, here is future track. I told you about that disturbance that's over the Yucatan that only has a 10% chance of development. Well, it's going to track to the northwest over the next couple of days, so our rain chances should increase by Sunday. The rain chances are only about 20 to 30% for tomorrow and Saturday, but by Father's Day Sunday, we think the rain chances are going to be about 50% as the disturbance gets closer, and we could be looking at some locally heavy rain we cannot rule the possibility for some localized flooding, so I'll keep it tuned here to Channel 5. Still a good chance for some rain on Monday and Tuesday, but the good news is that not only do we get some much needed rain, but the high temperature should be cooler, only the upper 80s to lower 90s for the start of next week. So to recap, 30% chance of rain today, 20% tomorrow, 30% Saturday, and a 50% chance of rain on Father's Day Sunday. On the water, we'll have winds out of the southeast to east at 10 to 15 knots. The bay waters are moderate chop. Your next tide is a low tide at 10.04 tonight, and the seas are 2 to 5 feet. So for today, partly sunny, 30% chance of thunderstorms with highs in the mid-90s. Then for tonight, it's just muggy and warm with mostly cloudy skies late and lows in the upper 70s. Here's that 7-day forecast, and it is it's been a long time since I put 89 for the high temperature. Well, by next week, we expect high temperatures in the upper 80s for Tuesday and Wednesday. Until then, it's still in the mid 90s, right around normal for today, tomorrow, and Saturday. Again, we have a 20% chance of thunderstorms tomorrow, a 30% chance of storms Saturday. Then we have a 50% chance of storms Father's Day Sunday. And at this point, we'll call for a 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms Monday and Tuesday with high temperatures in the upper 80s to around 90 degrees. That is your first Warren 5 forecast. Now here's Dina.